Today, we're going to talk about nutrient cycles, or the cycle of matter. There are three main cycles we're going to discuss, water, carbon, and nitrogen. First, remember water is extremely important to living things and covers 70% of the Earth's surfaces. Carbon is found in all organic macromolecules, such as lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. Nitrogen is needed for proteins and nucleic acids, especially for DNA and RNA. First, we have the water cycle. Water can move between the water and atmosphere and land. Water leaves the clouds and can return to the land or water through what we call precipitation. Rain, sleet, snow, or hail. Then, the water can re-enter the atmosphere through the process of evaporation, which is changing from liquid to gas. Water can also enter the atmosphere by evaporating from plant leaves. This is called transpiration. Finally, as the air cools, water vapor condenses into tiny droplets that forms clouds. This is called condensation. And then, the process continues. Next, we have the carbon cycle. It is important because plants and other autotrophs take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, make sugar through photosynthesis. So we have the atmospheric carbon goes down to the autotrophs through photosynthesis. Then heterotrophs obtain sugar from the plants and then they release the carbon dioxide back up into the atmosphere. Once again, from the atmosphere down to the autotrophs through the process of photosynthesis into the heterotrophs which eat the plants. They make energy releasing carbon dioxide and back up into the atmosphere. Finally, we're on to our nitrogen cycle. 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen. Remember, some bacteria take in nitrogen and convert it into ammonia. This is nitrogen fixation. There is nitrogen in the air. Plants take it in through the bacterial fixation. Then animals eat the plants. Animals poop. Animals die. Bacteria can help decompose the poop and the animals, changes the ammonia into nitrogen, and once again back up into the atmosphere. 